how to connect a Canva website to a existing domain. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a domain name and connecting it to your Canva website. So let's get into it. Now, how can you get started with connecting your pre-existing domain name to a Canva website? And can you really even create a good website with Canva? Well, Canva allows you to create a lot of illustrative images and Canva has a very diverse use. If you're able to use it correctly, you can create a super gorgeous website with Canva. So you guys can see I have just searched for websites and these are just a couple of templates that are available for Canva. You can see there are super, super amazing templates available and I definitely do think that you can create a pretty darn good professional looking website with Canva. So if we just go on ahead and take a look at the templates, you guys can see there are a bunch of different categories as well. You can click on all filters, you can choose the kind of template that you want. Let's say we want it to be related to, you can click on view more, let's say we want it to be related to digital marketing, finance, whatever you might want. So you can really just find the perfect template for you. You have resume templates, you have e-commerce templates, you have portfolio templates. So there really is quite a lot of quite a lot of things you can do with this. Now to get started, let's just say that I just picked out this random template, uh, launching soon one. Yeah. So I have this launching soon template. It's a website template and. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's pretty simple. It really doesn't have anything. So I just want to get started with this because I might you know, still be setting up or designing my website. So all I have to do once you have your template gathered and you have finished designing it, what you want to do is click on publish website on the top right. Once you click on publish website, your design will be locked. So you can't edit your design while you are publishing. Now, after that, you can choose to resize on mobile devices to see how it's going to look like. And I'm just going to do it with navigation. Now, after that, you get three options. You can use the free Canva domain, purchase a new domain via Canva, or use your pre-existing domain. So just to show you guys an example, if you go with your free domain and click on continue, it will show up as whatever you enter. So Durden Store dot my dot canva dot site that is what is going to show up as your domain name but you know it can seem a little unprofessional to a lot of people and you want to connect your own domain name well if you don't have one already canva does give you the option to purchase a domain name by them so if you choose to purchase a domain name by canva you can search for domain names over here I just search for Durden and it will give me a bunch of different options starting at 25, 18, 18 dollars. So there are a few options. I definitely do think you should go with a separate domain name provider because you will be able to get it for a lot cheaper than you would with Canva. Because a lot of these domain name providers like GoDaddy, Namecheap, all of these uh, you know, uh, domain service providers are going to give you a better price at a similar domain because that's their main focus. Canva does not, you know, primarily focus on uh, sales and purchases of domains. So we are going to use our existing domain. So for that, just select use my existing domain, click on continue, and you will add your domain. So what you want to do is enter your domain, Durden.store. That is the domain that I have purchased via GoDaddy. And you guys can see this is a pro only feature. So if you are on the free version of Canva, you can't connect domain names. So I'm going to click on continue over here and we're going to wait a couple of seconds. And now it says connect to GoDaddy. I will click on connect domain and it will open up a new uh, site and a new tab where it's going to show up with your domain name provider and it's going to say domain connect. And we're just going to wait for this to be completed. So you guys can see it opened up GoDaddy. And because I had already logged on to my account, it completed its verification. And then you guys can see the browser tab preview. Obviously, the pages that however you name your pages, that's what they're going to show up as. But then you can write your website description. 
So you can choose uh, password protection if you are uh, still designing and testing out your website then you can choose that but if you're just designing and you don't mind visitors viewing it then you can just hide your website from search engines and people can still access it but it's not going to be you know super visible in search engines and after you have completed that you have your url you have your browser tab preview just click on publish over here and your design will be completed now uh, obviously, this is just going to publish my website, but if you have a different domain provider and you have to connect it manually, you just click on connect manually and you have to go into your DNS settings and add the following values. So connect a domain and you guys can see you have these values. That's what you're going to get. So let's just go back and I'll go back into this uh, template. So I'm going to click on view your domain progress. And you guys will be able to see you have your uh, domain uh, information over here, current values, expected values. So you can click on uh, refresh. These are your domain settings. And you will have to, first I'm going to just show you guys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my design. So I have my design over here, publish website, do the same thing over. But this time I'm going to show you guys how you can do it manually. So click on continue over here and if you don't want to do it directly you can just click on connect manually and you guys can see before making changes go to domain host settings take a screenshot they have a reference in case you'd like to read them so now you're going to click on continue now we're just going to go on ahead you have your txt record and add a record so uh you have to copy and paste you know this information into your domain dns so you're going to go into dns you're going to configure your dns from here we have dirt and store over here this is going to load my dns settings and then you have the name data ttl delete can edit all that information so what you're going to do is you can click on add new record choose your option and that's what all of you know your canvas settings are going to show you delete existing records in your domain host settings so if you have any A type of records, it's asking you to delete them uh, beforehand. So I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to remove any pre-existing uh, settings like this, any A settings. I'm just going to delete this, delete this record. And this just helps in setting up Canva a lot easier. So you're going to click on add new record, choose the option, choose A or choose whatever Canva shows you over here. And what I'm going to do is then you have to add your text value. So TXT record, this is my TXT record. So I'm going to go on ahead, add that, paste it over here. Then you have value slash points too. And then we're just going to click on paste. And then you can scroll down, add a record. So um, you can just copy and paste, uh, you know, these values and this will just enable you to uh, simply add your domain name manually. I don't recommend doing this. It can take you a lot of time and it takes one hour to 48 hours for this to be completed and to be able to connect to your domain. They have to add your records, a record added, a record added, connect domain, so on and so forth. And it can take upwards of 24 hours to connect the domain. I do prefer doing it automatically. It just does it for you. And it's a whole lot simpler. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video.